welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Colors of the Rainbow tag. I have picked out products from the Colors of the Rainbow that I'm going to talk about. I tried to pick out products that maybe I haven't talked about as recently. I had a lot of candidates for this video. I had to narrow it down and pick out one thing from each color of the rainbow. And it was really surprisingly difficult to do. So I picked out things I haven't featured as much in this channel, but they are absolute favorites of mine. Before I begin, I want to thank Bethany of Glamour with Grace. She has an amazing YouTube channel. She actually tagged me, and I'm a little bit backlogged on videos, so it took me a while to get this video up. Um, so I want to thank her so much for thinking of me to include me in the tag. So I'll list some people in the description box who haven't yet done the tag that I'd love to see uh, their colors of the rainbow and what they pick. And... Everybody else who wants to do it, I encourage you to do it as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into my favorite things from the colors of the rainbow. All of these products are either beauty or hair care products. I didn't really want to mix in too much fashion stuff because I feel like I could do a whole colors of the rainbow on just fashion things. So I kept this to beauty, skincare, hair care. So the first color is red, and this obviously isn't red, but the lipstick inside of it is. And this is Rimmel's Moisture Renew Lipstick in Red Alert. And it's a beautiful classic red with a blue tone to it and there it is right there on my hand this is my go-to red lip if I'm wanting just a bold red lip to go out with I love mixing this with like a cat eye eyeliner and bold mascara and just rocking the classic red lip with like minimal face makeup not too much bronzer not too much blush and letting like the red lip just speak for itself when I wear this I need to wear a red lip liner or a red lip stain underneath so I like pairing it with Let's see, I think I have a red Revlon Colorstay lip liner I use, and then the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Romantic is a great pairing with this. So, love this, and it's by Rimmel. So, for a girl who actually wears almost exclusively neutral eyeshadows on a day-to-day -day basis, I wanted to include one of my few colored eyeshadows that I absolutely love, and it's for the color orange. This is one of the very first MAC eyeshadows I bought, and it's the color Paradisco. This is a frost eyeshadow by MAC, and it's a beautiful frosty orange. There it is on my finger. And let's see, swatched on my hand. You can kind of see it. It kind of has like a nice golden frost to it, so it actually works really great in the summer and also in the fall because it kind of has that warm kind of pumpkin-y frost to it that looks really good on your eyes during the fall. I also love wearing this to Giants games because I live in San Francisco and Giants are our hometown baseball team and orange is the color, you know, they're orange and black. So I love wearing this if I'm going to the Giants game and I'll do like bold black eyeliner and then there's a pop of orange on the lid. It's really cute and really fun. And this is really a wearable orange. I think the frost gives it that wearable factor where, you know, if you put this on your lid and then put a warm or cool brown through the crease, like a matte brown, it really is wearable. and. You wouldn't think that from an orange eyeshadow. So if you're looking to adventure into the color eyeshadow world and you don't want to buy a whole palette, check out the ones from MAC because they're really good. The next color of the rainbow is yellow and I picked out Trader Joe's jojoba oil. This is a pure 100% natural straight up jojoba oil and it's a very yellowy color. Jojoba oil comes from a plant. It's a really gentle kind of oil and I use this for removing my makeup. So I'll put this on a cotton square and just hold it over my eyes to really break down the mascara and eyeliner and eyeshadow. What I'll do after this is then go ahead and use a makeup wipe or gentle cleanser and just kind of get off the oily residue and I'm, I'm good to go for the night. So love jojoba oil. It's really affordable. It's actually cheaper than a lot of makeup removers and it's all natural. So what's not to love about that? The next color of the rainbow is green, and I had a hard time with green. I felt like everybody um, had really cool ideas for green. All I had was like the typical green, like minty green nail polish. So I picked out yet another MAC eyeshadow that's quite amazing, and it's MAC's Club. I'll try my best to describe this color. It's like a hunter green dual chrome eyeshadow that has tints of red and like slate gray to it. So there it is swatching my finger, ooh. There it is swatching my middle finger and on my hand. It comes off as a green, red, brown. And I know this is kind of a cop-out color, but this color is really awesome if you're looking to do a smoky eye because it's not so dark. And when I go for smoky eyes, I actually pick out 
dark navies, dark greens, and dark grays over black because black just is too harsh because I'm so fair skinned. I love Max Club for a smoky eye. It just really gives your eyes a nice sultry look. Max Club is a satin formula, so it's really silky and smooth, and the sheen is not too intense like a frost. It's just really lovely, and it can be worn, like, really layered on, but it can also be blended out for this nice, like, warm brown effect. Definitely great for those one-color eyeshadow looks. For blue, I had to absolutely pick out Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue Nail Polish. This color is incredible. It's like a nice cornflower blue on your nails. It absolutely pops and it gets people's attention. They see it right away and I always get non-stop compliments when I wear this nail polish. It's a little hard to find though. It's always sold out. I actually found it at a CVS. So, you know, shop around. You'll definitely see it when you come across it. It will, it will definitely stand out above all the others on the display. I mean, I saw it right away out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, oh, finally found it. I wasn't expecting to get it when I did, but Sally Hansen Pacific Blue is amazing. I think everybody should check it out. So the next color in the rainbow is indigo, and I don't have too many products in my collection that are really that great that are indigo colored, so I wanted to show my favorite hair care product. That is indigo, and it's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and the container is indigo, in case you didn't catch that. It's like a nice, deep, navy, kind of royal blue purple color, kind of that in-between violet and blue color. So this product is great. You just spray it on your hair while it's wet, and it instantly takes out tangles. It helps eliminate frizz, and it also serves as a heat protectant. So it does many, many things for your hair. It's kind of pricey, but for somebody who has damaged fine hair that is extremely tangly. I can't go a day without this product, or at least every other day when I wash my hair and I need to dry it and comb it after a shower. The one with the orange kind of gold lid on it is the Formula Plus Keratin. So this just has a little bit of extra protein in it that will help repair your damaged hair, or at least make it look more repaired. I absolutely love this and I think it's totally worth the money. Next color is Violet in the Rainbow, and I had to include this Lime Crime lipstick. It's kind of a violet colored package. Actually, maybe more lilac than anything, because I picked this out because of the color of the container. The color inside is actually Great Pink Planet, so it's like a baby pink. I want to feature this product because it's amazing. These lipsticks are vegan friendly, they're cruelty free, and the colors are amazing. A little, you know, a little bit wacky, so they're not for everybody, but Lime Crime definitely has some wearable colors in the collection and they smell just like MAC lipsticks. They kind of have that sweet vanilla cake scent. And the packaging is just so cute. It has a little holographic unicorn on it, and it's all sparkly and fun. So this is a great one when you want to pull out of your handbag and put your lipstick on. Everybody's going to be like, what is that? It's so cute. And it really is. So shout out to Lime Crime. This lipstick is amazing. So there's two colors added on the rainbow specifically for this tag. Multicolor and pink. So for multicolor, I picked out, well, it's kind of multicolor and pink, but whatever. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo and the Blush Formula, and I picked it out because it's multicolor. It is. It's kind of like this fuchsia, pink, green, and white. So it is multicolor, but this is my absolute holy grail favorite dry shampoo in the world. Um, I have day two hair right now, so what I'll do, I'll just demonstrate it real quick. Just kind of spray it on your roots, kind of give it a nice mist, and massage it in. And if you have dark hair, it can kind of show up, so just make sure you blend it really well and brush out, and you get instant volume and lift your hair. It smells kind of florally, but definitely it has a more powdery than floral scent, which I like because it's nice and neutral. It's not too offensive, and people aren't going to be like, oh my god, you have so much perfume on. It's it's nice, even as somebody who's as sensitive to smells as I am. This is an amazing dry shampoo, and it is multicolored, so that's why I made it in my Colors of the Rainbow tag. And my last color is pink, and I have so many pink nail polishes and lipsticks, I didn't want to pick one of those. I actually decided to go with a blush, and it's my absolute favorite by MAC. It is MAC's Dolly Mix, and you're probably seeing this and be like, wow, that is just a crazy blush. But let me tell you, it is not as intense as it is in the pan. Dolly Mix is what they call a sheer tone shimmer blush. This is a MAC blush formula. It's a little bit more sheer and it's not as intense as it appears. So that's it like really, really intense right there. But if you just tap your brush in it, I kind of have it right there in my hand. You just get a nice gradual 
hot pink blush. And it's kind of like a deep hot pink, which I love. And, you know, it has a slight shimmer to it, but it doesn't really translate on the cheeks. So you can wear it and still have a highlight or still have, um, you know, your bronzer going on. It's not too much if you apply it lightly. So I love this for both daytime and nighttime looks. So that's my Colors of the Rainbow tag. Again, I wanted to thank Bethany from Glamour with Grace for tagging me. I really enjoyed picking out all the products. And like you said, it was surprisingly difficult to narrow them down. So I list all the products and where to get them in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you very soon with another video.